In today's video, I'll be unboxing and setting up the Canon PIXMA TS3722 all-in-one inkjet printer. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video, so feel free to check that out. So I've gone ahead and opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. The first thing I notice is a setup guide and a few other pieces of documentation. And next we have a package that contains the cables and cartridges. And next I'm going to remove these two cardboard and caps and then I place the box of the printer on its side on a flat table or surface so I can actually pull the printer out and then I'm gonna pull the printer out now I've gone ahead and removed the outer plastic packaging from the printer and next I'm gonna remove the shipping tape the orange shipping tape on the printer let's start with these pieces in the front there is a slightly wide orange piece on the right hand side pull on that to remove it and then we have a narrower piece on the left hand side pull on that that to remove that and you won't be able to remove it entirely because it extends into the cartridge compartment I'm going to open the cartridge compartment by opening up this panel and then I'm going to continue to pull on that orange tab till it releases from the inside of the cartridge compartment and it has a piece of foam attached to it and now that you have the cartridge compartment open you'll notice that there is another orange piece on the right hand side and we're going to remove that as well and for now we can close up that cartridge compartment and there's one last piece of tape to remove from the front and that's this orange piece of tape here and let's remove the protective film on the screen now I've turned the printer around and I'm going to remove the last two pieces of orange tape on the back. I'm going to open up the paper tray and then tug on this narrow piece of tape to remove it. And then I'm going to remove this wider piece of tape on the right hand side. And while we're working on the back of the printer, let's plug in the provided power cable into the jack on the back of the printer. And we'll plug the other end into a power outlet. And next we're going to power the printer on by pressing the power button. And once the printer boots up, we're going to proceed to install the cartridges. And to do that, let's start off by opening Opening up the cartridge compartment and once you open up the cartridge compartment you'll notice that the cartridge tray is available for us to load the cartridges and I'm gonna go ahead and lower these two locks the one on the right and the one on the left so I can actually load up the cartridges and before we install them we're gonna have to do a little bit of prep on these cartridges which are inside this cardboard box that we took out of the outer packaging. And these, in case you're wondering, are the 275 black and 276 color cartridges. And to prep these cartridges, I'm gonna peel off this piece of protective plastic packaging and remove the cartridge itself. And last but not least, remove this piece of protective tape from the contacts. And I'm gonna repeat the same process with the color cartridge as well. Peel that cover off, get the cartridge out, and then peel off this protective piece of tape. And as the sticker down here suggests, the color cartridge goes on the left and the black cartridge goes on the right hand side. So I'm gonna insert the color cartridge with the electronic contacts facing inward. You wanna push it into the slot and then pull up on the lock to lock it in place. And let's do the same thing with the black cartridge. We have the electronic contacts facing inward and I'm gonna insert it into the tray and then pull up on the lock to lock it into place. And now we're gonna close the door to the cartridge compartment and the cartridge then goes through its initialization process in the printer. And let's load some paper into the paper tray. And to do that, I'm gonna slide this paper guide all the way to the left, insert the paper into the paper tray, and then let's push the guide back towards the paper to align it correctly. And the rest of the setup on this printer can be done using a combination of a smartphone and a computer, if you choose to set it up using a computer. And I'll walk you through that process. But with these Canon printers, I generally prefer to set it up using a smartphone first to get it set up with my home Wi-Fi network before I set it up using a computer. Let's go ahead and do that. And the first step to setting it up using a smartphone is to go into your App Store. Now, if you're using an Android device, you can go into your Play Store and the setup process is pretty much identical. And I'm going to search for the word Canon. Hit search. And the app we're looking for is the Canon Print app. 
and tap get to download the app and give it a few seconds to download. Once it's done downloading, tap open and once it opens up, it asks you to agree to some terms and conditions. I'm going to tap agree on the checkboxes and then tap OK to agree to everything. And then it asks whether I'd like to allow print to track your activity across other companies, apps and websites. I'm honestly not a big fan of this. So I'm going to say ask app not to track, but it's entirely up to you. And then it asks whether I'd like to allow print to find devices on local networks. So I'm going to tap allow. And then it gives me an option to search for available printers. So I'm going to tap search. And the first time round, it doesn't seem to have located my printer, but it's asking me to enable location services. So I'm going to tap allow while using app and then tap OK on the next dialog box. And then it asks me whether I'd like to allow print to join the Wi-Fi network, that is the Wi-Fi network for this specific printer, tap join. And then it asks me whether I'd like the printer to be connected to the following wireless router. In this case, this is the home network that I use. So I'm gonna say yes. And then it asks you to enter the password for that network. So I've entered the password for my home Wi-Fi network and then tap OK. And then it says that it is communicating with the printer. And once it connects to my home Wi-Fi network, it displays a message that asks if I'd like to keep my printer up to date and whether I'd like to enable auto update. And I'm going to tap yes. And then it lets me know that I can check out the Canon website for more information about my printer. I'm going to tap continue. And then it lets me know that I can actually choose my favorite photo and try to print it. And I'm going to try to do this just to make sure the printer is working. And and before I print, I'm going to pull out the paper output tray. So I've selected an image I'd like to print and I'm going to tap print. And there you go. It's printed my test page and on the app it displays a message that says printing is completed. I'm going to tap OK. And then I'm going to close that page out by tapping on the cross on the top right hand corner. And then this brings you right back to the home page of the app. But this time you'll notice that all the way up top, your printer's name is displayed. And right under it, very importantly, is that green circle that lets you know that the printer is online. And this is pretty much all the setup you need to do to get your printer running and connected to a smartphone. So once you set the printer up using your iPhone, the setup using a Mac is far simpler. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. And to do this, we're going to ensure that our Mac is connected to the same exact Wi-Fi network that our printer is connected to. In my case, it is Vortex and I'm connected to that network. And then I'm going to open up a browser window. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you prefer. And in that browser window, you're going to type in ij.start.canon forward slash TS3722 and then hit enter. And then once that page opens up, click start. And then it asks you to set up the new printer by removing all the orange tape and all that good stuff. We've already done all that. And then click connecting to a computer or smartphone. And then click on where it says download under number one, where it says download and install the setup software. So we're gonna click download. And that software has downloaded, as you can see here. I'm going to click on that to open it up. And then it opens up a little dialog box that lets you know how to install this piece of software, which is the Canon Print software. So I'm going to click on Canon Print and drag it into the Applications folder. And that's all you need to do to install that piece of software. Let's open that piece of software up. So I'm going to go down into my launch pad on the bottom left hand corner in my case. Click on that and you'll notice that the Canon print software now appears in your launch pad. I'm going to click on that. And then it warns you that the Canon print app is an app that was downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And you want to click open in our case to open that up. And on the next page, it asks you to agree to several terms and conditions. I'm going to click check all and then click OK. And then it asks me whether I'd like to learn more about the Canon print app. I'm going to click next to move on. And then on the next dialog box, I'm going to click set up now. Give it a few seconds. And in this little dialog box that opens up, it lets us know that it's trying to install a new helper tool and needs our Mac's password. This is the local 
simple Mac password. And then I'm going to click install helper. And on the next screen that opens up, it says setting up your new printer. And I'm going to click start setup. And then it says that enabling location services will make it easier to complete printer setup. Then I'm going to click on set location services. And I'm actually going to turn on location <laughs> services. And I'm going to turn that on for master setup and for Canon print in this case. And I'm going to do this temporarily. I can always turn this off once I'm done setting up the printer. And then we're going to jump back into the Canon setup and then click next. And it says that it is downloading. I'm not sure what it is downloading. And then it says that it is processing. And then it lets us know that you should have turned on your printer, which we've already done. I'm going to click next. And then it says that it is searching for printers. Let's give it a few seconds. And because we already connected the printer to our Wi-Fi network, it was able to find it fairly quickly. And since we found our printer, the TS3700 series, I'm going to click on it and then click next. And then it wants to know if you'd like to connect to it via Wi-Fi, which is what we want to do. I'm going to click continue. And then it says that it is connecting and the connection is successful. And then it lets me know that the software is being downloaded. And then it wants us to add the printer to AirPrint. In my case, I'm going to do that later. So click next. And then it lets me know that the connection settings and installation are complete. I'm going to click next. And then it lets me know that I can find more information on the Canon website. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to close that dialog box out. And you'll now notice that there are no printers currently accessible on the home screen of the app. That's because we have to do one more step. And to do that, the first step I recommend is to actually restart your computer. And once your restart is done, you're going to go into your system settings. Click on that. Scroll all the way down to where it says printers and scanners. Click on that. And then click add printer, scanner or fax. And you'll notice it has now found your printer, which is the Canon TS. 3700 series you want to click on that and then click add on the bottom right hand corner and it says that it is setting up the Canon TS3700 series give it a few seconds and you'll notice that the Canon TS3700 series has been added to your list of printers and you have a green dot next to it which means it is ready to go I'm going to close my settings out and I'm going to open up the Canon print app again and once you open the app up you'll notice that the Canon TS3700 series now appears on the home screen and you can now use this app to control your printer scan documents and do all that other good stuff and this pretty much completes the installation of the Canon TS3700 series on your Mac and as I mentioned earlier if you're looking to buy this printer or cartridges for this printer I'll leave a link right below the video so feel free to check that out hope you found this video useful if it was please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and if you have any questions or concerns about this video, please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.